Hello, um, so I just had this little uh, gold find today. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a big deal to me because um, as my subscribers on YouTube probably know already, I play a lot of Street Fighter and this is my particular favorite character, Kami. Um, next to Blanca, that was my original because sometimes people ask me, oh, who did you play as when you first like, if you played the original, there, you know, there was no Super Street Fighter 2 yet, only Street Fighter 2, and Blanco was my original. I, I'd love to find a figure of him, too, but yeah, I found this today. Costed me, I'm uh, easily 60 bucks, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying that sarcastically, but, um, yeah, but I, I mean, I, I'm really happy to get this, so this is my actual opening of this. I've never done this before. I've seen people do this on YouTube, but I've never actually um, done it myself. So this is my first, this is me taking it out of the box. Um, I was actually about to take it out earlier and then I thought to do this video. So that's why the, the sticker is a little bit peeled already, but yeah, I kept it because I wanted to have this recorded. And yeah, it looks like there's quite the posability right there with this figure. So this is from the Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, um, Volume 2 by Kai? I think I'm pronouncing that right. Player to action figure, so yeah. So let's just go ahead and uh, get this out of the box. Yeah, and you see there's two sets of hands. Um, for action, action poses, I guess, and um, alternate head. Um, let's just get this out of the box here. And let's see. So, we have. Um, huh. Oh, I guess there's tape around here. I don't know. I've never actually gotten. Um, well, except for my daughter. She has Chun Li, so that's her favorite, but I've never. This is my first Street Fighter figure I've ever gotten, and I got her Chun Li so long ago, or Chun Li, not sure how her name's pronounced, but I got my daughter that so long ago that I don't even remember what the packaging was like. So yeah, here we go, and I guess this is some sort of like um, hit kind of mark or whatever. Um, yeah, like a flash type thing. And, uh, so, and, uh, yeah, so there she is, and um, yeah, quite the articulation on this uh, on this figure. Uh, let's get a good look there. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I think it said there is 26 points of articulation, so. I, I know what that means, like the joints. Some people don't know what that means, but joint posability, how many different like angles you can sort of get it. Well, it's pretty neat. Her head even can, I just didn't even realize it would do that. Well, yeah, even the head can kind of rotate. So, you know what I was wondering when I was looking at it through the package, if these can, I don't really want to force it because I don't want to break something that cost me 60 bucks, but no, I guess they don't come off or, uh, no, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to push it till I read up on the web that they can be taken off, I'm not going to push that because I don't want to break it, so. Um, I thought it just from because it looks like there's some space in there, so I kind of thought maybe they made the boots able to take off, um, but no, maybe not. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Looks like you can, can do some pretty awesome poses with it. And um, oh, sorry, bang the <laughs> camera. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. Um, just gonna look at the oh, so this goes on her foot. I see. Oh, I guess if she's doing like a, I don't know how you'd make her like, <laughs> press her up against something. I don't know how you would get her to <laughs> like actually uh, stay up with this attached, but I'm sure there's ways. Um, yeah, I <laughs> can't seem to get it to go on right now. 
Um, well, I'll fiddle with that later, but yeah. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty awesome though. I'm pretty pleased, but you know, I, I, I didn't expect I would be this happy with it because in the box, I mean, with it kind of like this, I mean, it almost looks kind of like robotic, like when you can see the in inside part there, which I thought, you know, kind of weak for <laughs> characters supposed to be organic. I'm a Transformers fan too, but seeing the inner parts makes it look kind of robotic. But no, you can pose her in so many different ways that it can be camouflaged, so to speak, almost, yeah. So, yeah, that's um, pretty kick-ass figure actually I'm pretty uh, pretty amazed um, so I guess oh there it goes um, put on try the other head oh neat it has these little things wow pretty uh, pretty cool looking um, okay. this other one on the package here. oh that popped out there and uh, oh jeez really so you gotta actually remove these wow this is uh, rather complex for something that doesn't is this it oh there, there is instructions okay oh so were these <laughs> really so I think the wow so I think these things are actually supposed to come out. Well, from the huh, yeah, from the look of the instructions, these little ball things are supposed to come out with the ponytails. Huh. Okay. Well, I can at least put her head on. It's like, oh, it's really bothering me now. Like what? Maybe if I just plug them back in, it'll sort of resolve itself. <laughs> nope, <laughs> it just popped off the ponytails. Well, at least till I understand better how to do this. I'll just pop the other head back on. Or on, <laughs> not back on, that would be this one. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Really wish I could figure out those uh, ponytails right now, but um, and the hands, I don't know, <laughs> must be a way. Well, I'm going to end the video for now because I want to take a look at the instructions so I don't end up accidentally breaking this or something. I spent too much money on it to be wanting to do that. So, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, just do a little 360 here. And yeah. So that is my cami figure. Okay, thanks for watching.